What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today, we are gonna talk to you, small business owners and marketers, about how to install the LinkedIn Pixel on your website and why you want to do this. So, first of all, why you want to install the LinkedIn Pixel on your website is so that you can create audiences. It's the same reason why you would wanna have the Facebook Pixel, the Google Pixel, or any Pixel on your website. It's so that you can be a data-driven, smarter marketer by going out and deploying ad campaigns to customers who already have shown a level of interest in your business because the data says that it takes at least three to five times, at least, especially if you have little to no brand awareness in your market, in your vertical, at least three to five times of potential customers seeing you before they even consider giving you their information and becoming a lead or buying a product. So the pixel is important. And so today we're gonna show you how to put it on your, put the LinkedIn pixel on your website. For those of you listening on the podcast, it's gonna be super simple to follow along. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to linkedin.com slash ad dash beta slash account it's gonna make you log into your LinkedIn ads account. Now, many of you might not have an ads account, but you have a business page, right? So basically, you will be creating your first thing ever in your ad account if you fall into that category, or if you've ever created a LinkedIn ad account, you're just gonna see it, and this is what it's gonna look like. And so, what you're gonna do, and for those of you listening, there's a navigation menu in the, in the left-hand side of the page that says campaign performance, website demographics, and account assets. So, it's not super intuitive in LinkedIn. You're gonna click account assets. You're gonna see insight tag, conversion, matched audiences, block lists, lead generation forms, and asset history. So. Click conversions, and then when you click conversions, it's gonna say, step one, install the tag on your website. Now this will look familiar for some of you. You'll breathe a sigh of relief, this is easy. All you're gonna do is copy and paste this code into the header tag of your website. Now, we've talked at length in other data-driven daily tips about how to use WordPress, go in, add a plugin like header, footer, scripts inserter by SpaceX Chimp and just paste it in there and click save and you're good to go. And then once you have that in your website, you're gonna be able to come and do a lot of other things with your advertising that I talked about a minute ago. You're gonna be able to create audiences. You're gonna be able to create audiences based on who has viewed different pages on your website and then, and then you're gonna be able to deploy that ad to audiences on LinkedIn. So you're gonna be able to hit let's say directors of marketing, CEOs, CMOs, IT professionals, whatever it is, the decision maker at these companies for B2B marketing, you are gonna be able to say, this person has been to my website, they viewed this particular page on my website. Now imagine if you're an HR director or if you're an HR VP and your job is to go out, work with your recruiting people and go out and fill positions. Well, what you can do is you can run ads on LinkedIn to people who have been to your job site if they have this pixel on. That's one thing that this pixel allows you to do. So we've talked about how to install the LinkedIn tracking pixel on your website. And we talked about why you want the LinkedIn pixel on your website. This has been your data-driven daily tip for more free digital marketing tips. Visit dataoveropinions.com. Check out the flash briefing on the Amazon company powered device that I can't say the name of because it'll stop the flash briefing right now. Go to datadrivendaily.com. To support the Data Driven Daily tip, go to support.datadrivendaily.com. For more on the podcast, go to pauljhickey.com. And if you really just want to connect and hook up about how we can help your business, email me at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day.